Hi, good morning. Uh, we're just at the AMC, the Appalachian Mountain Club Centre in Crawford Notch. Um, so, see, a few days ago, we got picked up in that sort of very trail magic y miracle kind of way um, by Jen, who uh, runs the Old Colony Ski Club. So, we obviously stayed there a few days. Uh, we stayed there three nights, two days. Um, and we've just been dropped back off at Route 302 today. Um, so the weather is threatening to be nicer. I think there's still a small chance of rain and thunderstorms later, but um, the rain over the last few days has been pretty biblical, so we've made the right decision, I think, to, to avoid doing some of these uh, exposed ridges and stuff in, in that weather, especially with the thunderstorms. The thunderstorms yesterday which went on for ages, so... Um, we are a little further up the trail than where we got picked up so the trail actually crosses route 302 further down and goes up an incredibly steep path um, uh, up Webster Cliffs and I think over some near a waterfall as well and just with the amount of rain that's been going on in the last few days um, plus obviously Korak's just getting back into the swing of things after her fall and stuff we kind of psyched ourselves out of doing doing that bit because it seems like it's a pretty sketchy climb um, at the best of times. Um, so what we're doing is taking a longer path, um, like a blue blaze longer path, um, up to the ridge instead. So we're slightly sort of it's it's weird. We're sort of slightly further up trail, but then we do a longer, more easily graded trail up to the ridge. Um, so we kind of cut out a little bit of miles by doing that, like two or three, but we also are doing more miles on the approach up to the trail. So I haven't, I haven't measured exactly how much it is. I don't know. I think we'll probably come out walking the same distance and to be fair, but it's just the, the path up should be easier, but it should drop us, um, just below the summit of Mount Pierce, which, um, Hopefully we'll get nice weather up there, an aura sign at least, so I can take a picture with my uh, namesake mountain. Um, but yeah, we're hoping today then we can get over Mount Washington um, and over the presidentials in one one big push, um, which would be pretty cool to do in, in all in one go. And also, there's supposed to be some good weather tomorrow and we'd like to use that to try and get up the Wildcats as well, which is the next mountain range which also have incredibly steep climbs, but if it's better weather, at least it might be um, uh, a little easier. So, yeah, we'll see if we, when we get up onto the ridge, if there's any views, if we either the clouds burn off or we uh, end up above them. Especially with Washington, we should be up at like 6,000 something odd feet. We're like only a couple hundred feet below what Clingman's Dome is. And obviously Clingman's Dome is in, obviously in the back in the way back in the Smokies and is just like one little point on a ridge whereas Mount Washington is quite prominent um, so and exposed so it should be a whole different whole different animal up there but but yeah looking forward to today good to be back on trail and uh, yeah we'll see what the day brings okay quick update <laughs> we made it up back onto the proper trail after hiking up the um, Crawford, path. Crawford path which is apparently the oldest continuously maintained like, footpath or something yeah there was a sign whatever continuously maintained and like <laughs> continuously used as a footpath yeah I mean, that's cool in, the, in US. the US obviously not in the world but um, yeah so we made it up that it looks like we made the right choice avoiding the steep path at Webster Cliffs because we bumped into a few, quite a few southbounders and who were basically, who were basically bypassing that bit as well. And some northbounders who did it the other day who said it was awful, the conditions are no good. And like apparently a few, more than one person fell and got injured the other day. So yeah, probably a good thing we didn't do that bit. Um, so we're just climbing up Mount Pierce now, my namesake. And uh, 
we were planning to potentially get over Mount Washington today, but as you can see, the weather's kind of a bit rubbish at the moment, so there's no views, which we were kind of expecting, but the forecast has also been updated to include, it was supposed to just kind of be like possibly sunny, just a little cloudy, but it's now changed to be thunderstorms, and we don't want to be on the top of Washington in a thunderstorm, so... We might pull up early, or it looks like we're going to do is pull up early at Lake of the Clouds Hut, which is um, like a fancy lodge on top of the mountain um, that people pay exorbitant fees to stay on a plastic bunk because they get fed and there's running water and all sorts of stuff. But uh, if you're through hiking, you if you get there at the right time, if you're lucky enough, uh, you can do a work for stay, so you just exchange like two hours of your time like sweeping or cleaning up after dinner, washing up, that sort of thing and you can stay for free, so we're going to give that a try if not, they have an emergency shelter underneath the, ba the building in their basement called The Dungeon which apparently until the middle of June uh, had 10 inches of ice still uh, on the floor because it was because it's so high up it's still frozen but that apparently is thawed now you know it's only taken till like august but um if that doesn't work, if that doesn't work we're gonna we don't know <laughs> we'll find well we'll either get work for stay if they don't have any available then we'll stay in the dungeon we should get there in enough time um and if none of those pan out then we might just have to push over washington in a thunderstorm and See if anyone's up there in their car and try and hit down with them, hitch down or something. <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure that out. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, but yeah. All right. Wish us luck. We're now going up. I'm going to go up these. Very. Well, Korok made it up, so they're probably. I'm sure they're. They won't just fall apart. <laughs> All right. We'll see you in a bit. Hi. Hi. Welcome to my mountain. <laughs> Look at the incredible views it has. Hi, good morning. Uh, we're just leaving Lakes of the Cloud Hut. So we didn't, I didn't film too much more yesterday because we got caught in a thunderstorm. So <laughs> the clouds got even darker and as we were climbing, we basically heard thunder going off all around us. So we basically ran the last few bits to Lake of the Clouds where we managed to get a work for stay. So we just had a few chores to do, like cleaning out and reorganizing the fridge and freezers and stuff in the kitchen. And then we got food and a place to sleep on the floor, which I would think would be nice, except for the fact that all the day hikers and kids and stuff that are staying in the, uh, uh, in the bunk room, like the actual paying guests were like, seemingly forming a parade to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night and we're like stomping and right past my head and with like no regard for <laughs> anyone's quiet time which is a bit annoying but anyway these are the views we've got today which yesterday so that's mount washington we're going up now it's about one and a half miles away and then all these incredible views which again we wouldn't have seen any of this yesterday because <laughs> the storms but it should all be worth it for for being able to go up today. So, all right, let's get going.
all the way to the top. And there's hardly anyone else there. There's like one other hiker and like no one else, which for up here is a kind of a rarity because there's like a car park and a cog railway that comes up here. But it is like seven in the morning, so it's kind of understandable that it's empty. Yeah, we're gonna enjoy the view. I don't know how much of me you actually saw, then I was all backlit, but whatever. We'll get some more shots and then we'll uh, keep on heading down. So that's Mount Washington over there. So that's about five or six trail miles away. We've basically come around this ridge up onto Mount Madison here, which is our sort of last climb of the presidentials. And then tomorrow we basically make a start on this range, which is the Wildcats. And then once we're done with that, then we're done with the, the Whites. We now just have to go down this ridge down to a campsite somewhere in the trees in the flat a bit down there. Uh, so it's a long steep climb, it's kind of everyone's been warning us to no end. So we're gonna take it slow. Hopefully our knees are intact by the time we get to the bottom, but alright, let's go. Hello we made it. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> obviously this is now the morning after. Um, so that was a not very fun evening, way to spend an evening. It took about three and a half, uh, yeah, three and a half hours to do two and a half miles, all like downhill. Like the first, the first mile or so was just like a pick your own adventure thing over like boulder fields like trying to um you know there's no discernible path it's just the various cairns marking the the way down the hill and you just have to sort of find your way over to each of them across like loose boulders on the hill um and then the second half was like when you got to tree line the trail just like started descending so steeply like 16 1700 feet a mile elevation change like straight down on like wet rocks and stuff it wasn't like loose boulders and stuff but it was just like just grinding so it was such like a narrow path through the trees and like yeah it was it was rough it took us a, a while to get down um Not bad. that's all right but yeah got a nice little campsite um by the river we have yet to pay for a campsite in the Whites. I refuse to at this point. Yeah, this yeah. <laughs> so the AMC, the Appalachian Mountain Club, that run all the shelters and huts here. So the huts are the big fancy, uh, like, place bunk houses that have dinner and breakfast and stuff for paying guests, and they're like over a hundred dollars for a bunk. They're just for like the fancy day hiker people that come out for weekends and stuff. And there are still shelters, but the shelters have caretakers that maintain it and, you know, clean the privies and stuff. But they charge, like, $10, $15 a night. 
so like we have yet to pay for any of those because we've just been like either stealth camping or we did like the work for stay at lakes of the clouds or staying in well we paid to stay in hostels but that's i suppose that's different to stay paying for a shelter that they have on the rest of the trail but um anyway we are oh god my hair's looking thin i need to wash it (laughs) um yeah, we've got about four miles today till we get to um, Pinkham Notch uh, Visitor Centre. So uh, word is that there's going to be trail magic there today. So we're looking forward to that. And then we'll figure out what we're doing with the rest of the day because there's supposed to be thunderstorms all day tomorrow and the next 20 or so miles are of the next range of the the whites is the Wildcat Mountains. Um and there's again some very steep tricky climbs sort of tucked in and around those peaks so whether we want to be up there in a thunderstorm we don't know we're just gonna have to i think we're just gonna focus on getting down to pinkham notch hang out there just figure out what we want to do and uh and go from there so (sighs) right I suppose we should get up. It's like half eight. We've taken so much time this morning just because we're so exhausted from the climb yesterday or the descent yesterday. That's terrible. Yeah. So the whites continue to kick my ass Mm -hmm. and I will be glad when they're done. But at least there's nice views. So that's something. Um, But yeah, anyway, I'm going to get packed up and then we'll get going. All right. Good morning from a very beautiful scene in New- the White Mountains. So, oh, what did we do yesterday? I didn't really give Nothing. much update. <laughs> yeah. Well, up there at least is uh, Mount Madison, where we were two days ago. Mm-hmm. Came down two days ago with the awful climb. And then yesterday we basically did like the five or so miles down to Pink and Notch Visitor Center, which is right there. And then we stayed at the barn hostel in Gorham, just because this next section we're doing now is a lot of like steep, tricky climbing, and we didn't really fancy starting it. Oh, well, I didn't. I certainly didn't start fancy start doing that after the still aching from the climb. So went into the hostel, could relax for the evening, had some good food, showered, laundry just generally just try to relax and recover a little bit before tackling the wildcats today or starting them today um so yeah not much of a plan for today just see how far we get um there's chance of like thunderstorms and rain later on so we'll just see how far we get if we need to hunker down somewhere we'll try and find something but we'll uh yeah just see how far we get so all right let's get going The other quick thing I forgot to mention earlier is that this part of the trail going up the Wildcats, whilst not the longest or most difficult climb, still difficult, it's the White Mountains, but compared to other bits we've done, this does have the steepest grade on the AT. So we've got about 880 feet to go on this first bit of the climb in 0.4 miles. And there's some points where I think the actual grade is over 2,000 feet a mile. Are you serious? Yeah. Which is essentially like climbing a ladder. I need to have a word. Yeah, have a word with the AMC about that. But, yeah. So, that's going to be fun. I uh, hope the knees are up to it. All right. If I don't get footage of this climb, it's because I need both hands to hang on for dear life. So, uh, hopefully we'll see you up there.
All right, you can just about see what well, you can see, Mount Washington up there. And this is what we've just climbed up. It took us about half an hour. There was some tears, some crying, some, uh, yeah, it took, a, it took a while to get up this. So basically this like drop between these two rocks, there's actually, you can see there's like nice steps or rocks that look like steps, but there's nothing to get to them. So you have to kind of like scramble up onto that bit. And then that's just a sheer drop down there. And like, I just about managed to get up. Korok had a bit of trouble because she's a bit shorter. So like trying to reach things was like a bit of a nightmare. So I had to like come down while she was like halfway up and like take her pack off her so she could get up the rest of it. Uh, this is not a fun climb. Views are incredible, but the actual hiking is more like mountaineering at this point, and that is not what I enjoy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're about halfway up this climb. It's depending on how when we get up there, we might just might just get to the hut maybe, and then bail out back to the road and try again another day because there's like thunderstorms coming in later on. So. I would like to avoid that, but anyway, uh, let's keep going. How you feel? I'm very scared. How do you enjoy your first chairlift ride? Honestly, you know how I cried earlier today, like twice? Yeah. Yeah, this is scarier. I wasn't going to mention it on video, but... Or did I? Did I mention that you cried? I don't know. She cried. I cried a lot. We'll update you with what we're doing <laughs> when we get down. We're just going to... This is so scary. <laughs> we're just going to enjoy this calm ride down the mountain. Put me back on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I'll walk from here. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> But look at the pretty view. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll see you down there. Okay. Okay, quick update on where we're up to. Um, so we got to the top of uh, uh, Wildcat Mountain and basically it took us like four hours to do those three miles or something it was. Um, it's just incredibly difficult terrain and like even the bits that look flatter and stuff in far out you have to like really exaggerate the terrain and you see it's lots of little like up and downs that like might only be like 20 or 30 feet but when you get to them it is just a vertical 20 foot like rock climb uh, so it was just doing that constantly all the way up which just took us forever um and we were both just feeling completely disheartened about the whole thing <laughs> um we're just not enjoying it um you know there was uh a few i hope she doesn't mind me saying there's a few tears <laughs> on the on Cork's part about many many tears yeah about some of those climbs um oh, look i don't want to be rock climbing i want to be hiking okay? yeah i know but yeah it was a very tough very tough day um so we just decided to bail out and come into um, Gorham again. Uh, so we did manage to get uh, a ride back, as you would have seen on the in the bed of a pickup <laughs> pickup truck from a local. So that was uh, a little sketchy but fun. I think that was on Korok's uh, through hike bucket list to get 
<laughs> to get picked up and ride in the back of a truck, so that was fun. Um, made it to Gorham, to the Five Corners Inn and Suites, and Nancy, who runs it, is very nice, very hiker friendly, so she, she does a, a $50 hiker rate for a room, which is incredible value, especially this far north, like everything's been so expensive otherwise. Um, and all of this, by the way, for clarity, this is all yesterday. <laughs> so it is now, it's now Monday as I'm recording this. So yesterday we went, you know, we got, went to got pizza and it was like massive thunderstorms rolling in. So it's probably good that we got off the mountain. Um, and we just decided we needed a, like a break, more of a mental break than a, than a physical one really. Um, but yeah, we're long story short because we came down on the ski lift and the ski lift only runs uh on weekends so we can't go back up to start from where we left off and if we keep going to the next road junction and go southbound to try and get to that point we still you know we'd have to wait for ages for them to connect those two points because we want that ski lift to be running because we don't want to go down what we had to go up because it was bad enough going up it would be awful to come down because like at least when you're going up if you slip you kind of just like fall into the rock and like you know as you're going up you're facing the rock and you're going on hand holds and stuff if you're going down if you like miss a foot like, if you miss like a foothold or something your momentum's already going downward so you just it's just the whole level's more sketchy to go to go down some of those bits so um, the all of this to say that we're basically going to skip the rest of uh, well we did the wildcat so we're basically the next bit is the carters the carter range um, which is about 18 miles or so that we're skipping ahead um, also to try and catch up with some of our friends that we fell behind um, and just mainly for our own sanity, really, um, and just logistically trying to fit that section back in is tricky. Um, one of our plans, one of the options we've got for getting back from Katahdin is to rent a car and drive do a bit of a road trip back down to uh, to DC and potentially stop off in a few towns or places we, you know places we either missed or we really enjoyed and just hang out a bit so what we might do if if the timing works out what we might do is on the way back after summiting Katahdin <laughs> hopefully is stop off here and do that little bit as like a slack pack like day hike so without a full pack and then at least we've got we'll plug that little gap later on basically but we just logistically and emotionally and physically spiritually whatever just are not in the right time frame or headspace or whatever to to do that bit now so this is a it's a little frustrating but after having a zero today just feeling a lot more relaxed having our own space watching some tv enjoying some air conditioning we're feeling a lot better so um oh the air conditioning's just shot off maybe i wonder how noisy that was until now oh well editing jimmy we'll find out um but yeah so we've you know feeling better now after a shower and laundry and and everything uh ready to get back on trail tomorrow so yeah a bit of a bit of a tough last few days and the whites have just been like crazy difficult um as is, as kind of expected but like it just takes so much out of you to just do five miles or so and it's just it's just getting to us but you know we'll get there there's a few other hikers staying here actually we've just been speaking to the had similar experiences and other people are just like 
so done with it at this point we just want to be in Maine because it's like a lot of people's favorite parts of the trail so we just want to be enjoying it again to that extent so we'll get there anyway that's probably the end of this video so hopefully the next one starts with us getting back on trail and hopefully things start picking up but yeah that's uh most of the whites done a few little bits uh to do but we're mostly out of all the worst of it now so almost to Maine I think we're about 17 18 miles from Maine now so pretty crazy to be that close to the final state so anyway I'm rambled enough so uh yeah all right I'll speak to you guys tomorrow